This video will show you how to create a circular pattern using a new pattern feature that was implemented in IonCAD 2009 XG. To invoke the pattern feature, you first go to the Feature tab and go to the Transform Palette tool and you'll see the pattern feature here. We can click the pattern feature and you'll notice the property browser will update for the command and it's asking us to select the part. We'll select the part and you'll notice all the other parts in the scene will be transparent. We could also pick the part first and then the icon in which we get to the same menu here, the same drive, uh, property browser command drive. All right, so either way is acceptable and you'll notice that it will highlight in red what it's asking you to, uh, um, <coughs> excuse me, select. So in this case, it's looking, we're doing a circular pattern, which we have selected here. And it's looking for an axis, which is really the axis of rotation. So let's zoom in a little bit on this part. And I'm just going to pick this surface here, this circular surface. Um, the axis will work on any surface, edge, arc, any arced edge or surface you can use to drive the center of rotation. Okay, the next thing is asking for feature. We have a um, counterboard hole here. We want to pick that feature. And you notice it's highlighting the pattern already. So let's say I want three holes and I want them evenly spaced. So it'll put them 120 degrees apart. That's great click and say OK and we have our feature so now if we look into the feature structure of the part you see here's our circular pattern so if we want to edit anything on it we right click say edit feature and let's go back to what we had before maybe we want five holes at a fixed spacing of 50 but I really wanted to go in this direction, so we can reverse it here. And let's say maybe I want three holes actually 50 degrees apart. And I don't want to be the center here, I want it to be the center of this feature. So I'll, cl I'll click this axis, the original axis we set, and clear it from the list, and pick this arc as the new one. say OK and we'll quickly update it if we go back in and edit again we'll make it simple we'll say I want four holes evenly spaced about that center course right. the restrict to non-floating feature results what that basically means is when this option is checked that any features of the pattern that become floating features meaning features do not that do not affect the geom geometry of the part in any way it will not allow you to complete the pattern command you'll have to go and adjust your parameters so you can um, you can decide to uncheck this and it will allow you to com complete the pattern command with the floating features but it will slow down the regeneration performance of the part to keep in mind if you're working on more complex parts okay so I'm just going to accept this we can skip nodes again if we come in here and pick this it'll give nodes and we can ignore instances of the pattern and at any time we can go back in and get him back if we want so we can click here click on the, the node instance back and we're all set. Um, you can also come into the parameters of the feature and you can change the values here. Either way is acceptable. And one last thing we'll cover here is if we go back and edit, uh, actually I'm sorry, if we come here and we decide we move this boss, let's say we want to move it to the center point up here, the pattern will update because it recognizes this 
arc as the center of rotation so wherever you move this prime will be it become its new center of rotation and that basically concludes a circular pattern